reach the San Diego Division of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Oficina de la PBI San Diego, para Español, Oprima el numero nueve. This call may be recorded. If this is a life-threatening emergency, please hang up now and dial 911. Our answering service menu has changed. Please listen carefully to the following selection. If you know your party's four-digit extension, please dial 5 now. For business hours, directions, and mailing address, press 1. To file a complaint, press 2. If your call is for media or community outreach information, press 3. If you are calling regarding employment matters or a... Press, press 3. If you are calling to speak to our media representative, press 1. If you are calling to speak to our community outreach coordinator, press 2. To return to the main menu, press 4. Call dial 1. Your call is being answered by Audix. Devine Butler is not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. When finished recording, press pound for more options. Record at the tone. Miss Butler, my name is Lonnie Clark, and I need to advise you that this call is being recorded. Uh, my name is Lonnie Clark, and I'm the host of the Age of Fission radio show on UCY.TV. And I also have a YouTube channel where this will be posted. It's on Nuts for Art, N-U-T-Z-F-O-R-A-R-T. And I am calling about the election fraud that has been, uh, we don't know. I called the Registrar of Voters Office uh, several times to speak with Mr. Nill in San Diego, and he has not returned my phone call. So I contacted the Southern District of California Attorney General's office. That's where I thought that election fraud perpetrated from. And they said that if the, it is the FBI who investigates election fraud. And I have been reading, I read several stories that said that there were a million votes in San Diego that were shredded and a million votes that were whited out in San Diego uh, that changed the election. Whether it changed the election or not, it's still illegal. One vote is illegal. Destroying one vote is illegal. That's election fraud. It's a felony. So I have been uh, basically attempting to find out if that was a true story. Everything that I've seen on the Internet verifies that it's mostly true. There might be some exaggerations, but there has been election fraud. And I want to know if we are going to be pursuing this, or do we just have to start saying Sig Heil pretty soon? One vote of election fraud is election fraud. If we cannot trust our votes, what can we trust in this country? So, if you would, please call me back at work. I work during the day. Uh, um, I'm in my office from 9 until 6. My phone number is 541-338-4664. My cell phone, if you catch me while I'm out, is 541-337-4664. Really what I want to know is, is there, is there an investigation into election fraud in San Diego County? Widely known all over the country that there was or reported, let's put it to you that way, widely reported that there were uh, shredded votes. So uh, that's really where I'm at. This is not something that is optional in my view. I think we ought to be having an investigation, but I'm not the FBI. So uh, if you would, please give me a call back. I know that you're the media outreach person, so you may not have those answers, but if you could find them out before you give me a call back, that would be awesome. I am going to be discussing this. I'm going to be posting this video. It's not actually a video. It's more like a, a sound thing on my YouTube channel, Nuts for Art. On every one of these phone calls that I make regarding this election fraud thing, I am posting it onto my YouTube channel. Uh, mostly because that's the only venue that we have for truth anymore. Or some truth or something like that. Whatever truth means, I guess, in this country. I guess it depends on who your friends are and what the truth is. 
But uh, I am definitely going to be posting this on my YouTube channel, and I hope to hear from you, and I hope that you will confirm that we are having some kind of an investigation. This has, frankly, been the biggest outrage I've ever had to live through, worse than Bush stealing the election in 2000. This was blatant, and everybody's just pretending like, no big deal, it's more moving on. Huh, Hillary Clinton's the nominee. Not really. Uh, just yesterday, Deborah Washington Schultz was on television saying how she rigged the election. <laughs> outright, straight outright. It was unbelievable, but she did. So that's what prompted me to really find out, is there any investigation into election fraud? Does anybody even care at the government level? Or are we just like assets on a balance sheet and we don't have a right to know? My phone number, 541-338-4664. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. So that was my little message to the... Here's the phone number. I'm going to show you the phone number. This is the people, the FBI. I think that's the Southern District. Let me see if it'll get it. There you go. 858-320... 1-800-858-320-1-800. That is, uh, that's who these people gave me their phone number. The Southern District of California. I didn't tape record that phone call. The guy basically said that the FBI investigates it. If they show that there's a case, then this office has to perpetrate it. So, anyways... That's that, you guys. I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel like I told this lady. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. We'll see what kind of shit I get into with this one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have a death sentence, but I do believe in our government at a certain level, and I don't believe that they're going to kill me just because I'm trying to fight for truth. <laughs> at least I hope not. Uh, I wonder if actually your life insurance pays off if you get murdered by the government. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you believe this is the state of our country? I can't. I am heartbroken. I cannot believe we have allowed it to get so depraved, so completely lacking in values and morals that we wake up every day with this fucking noise box or the radio box and then talking about Hillary Clinton as if she's a decent human fucking being. God. I don't know about you guys, but man, the shoe has dropped, folks. We're not waiting for it to drop. It's dropped. So, and yeah, it's going to get a lot worse. So, ciao. Put your courage feet on, put your courage feet on, put your courage feet on, ciao.